Welcome back to Satip Tactical. Time is ticking on the 120 day amnesty period for the ATF's pistol brace rule. Now I've talked a lot about this rule in the past. If you guys have been following along, you know what it is. Basically, brace air pistols that we've all been able to purchase legally for the last decade, they've decided that those are all SBRs now. And you have a number of options of what you can do with them. But basically, none of them are any good. And they want us all to register before this 120 days is over. Now, a lot of people are not going to comply with this. And I've got a lot of respect for that. But there's a few things we need to think about. So, let's talk about that. So at this point, I thought that we would have had some kind of temporary injunction in place, something postponing this pistol brace rule, or getting rid of it completely, or what I was really hoping, being extra optimistic, is that because of this, because the ATF says that brace pistols have been SBRs this whole time, that that would mean that SBRs would be considered in common use, and therefore maybe we'd get lucky and short barrel rifles would have been taken off the NFA, and become unregulated items. Well, nothing good has happened yet. Uh, Congress was supposed to have a markup about this brace rule. They postponed that because of a shooting. Um, there's been a number of lawsuits, and unfortunately, we've had our first loss. I did a video about that a couple weeks ago, but basically the judge um, did not grant a temporary injunction. Um, kind of ruled preliminarily in the ATF's favor on that. And what the problem is with that now is that the ATF is trying to use that in all these other lawsuits to show that, you know, that they're right and we're wrong, basically. And um, we'll see what happens there. I think we've got about a week and a half before the judge in the GOA and Texas lawsuit says that he will make some kind of preliminary decision. Um, so we do have that to look forward to. Hopefully it works out in our favor, but you know, my optimism is starting to wane a little bit, unfortunately. Now, the biggest sentiment that I seem to hear from the gun community is I will not comply. Do not comply with tyranny. And I completely agree with not complying with tyranny, but you have to think about a couple things. So the whole reason that we were using pistol braces in the first place was to, to not be illegal. To have legally owned shorter barreled firearms that are very ideal for certain roles. So I built my ultimate home defense gun as a short barreled 300 blackout. Now I'm waiting for a suppressor for this thing. But shorter barrels are very ideal for things like home defense, where you're going to be needing to possibly move around in small spaces, hallways, rooms, things like that. And you don't want something big and unwieldy. Shorter barrels work great. And rounds like 300 blackout, 9mm, these things work very well out of shorter barrels. And so they've been ideal for something like that. So think about this. If you decide not to comply with their unconstitutional rule, which I do agree with not complying with tyranny, and you keep your brace on your you know, short barreled firearm, you don't register it, well, what happens if you actually have to use your firearm in self-defense? Someone breaks into your home, the gun that you designed specifically to be an ideal home defense weapon, you actually have to use for what its purpose is. Well, then when the cops show up and your otherwise completely justified shooting turns out to have been done with an illegal SBR, how is that going to look for you in court? And so that's the thing, not complying, I totally get it, but guns are not just something to hide under the bed, hide in your safe, you know, there's something there is an actual use and a role from. Hopefully it's a use and a role that we never have to use them for. But if you ever do, 
there is something to be said for having a gun that is not an illegal configuration. Again, the whole reason we had braces on them in the first place. Otherwise, we would have had stocks, right? So, that's just something I've been thinking about. I want you guys to think about. And everyone's going to make their own decision. I do not agree with this pistol brace rule one bit. And I have not registered any of my pistol braced firearms. But, you know, right now, what I'm thinking, the whole point of something like this was those extra points of contact. Otherwise, I might as well run an actual handgun for home defense. And nothing wrong with that at all. A handgun is quick and easy to get to. Something like this Springfield Prodigy. 20 rounds of 9mm hollow points, light, optic, has most of the same capabilities as something like this. But, they're going to black out once I get my suppressor. It's going to be quiet. And the whole point was to have those extra points of contact, extra stability. It's easier to use something like this, you know, accurately in a stressful situation. But a lot of that ease goes away without the pistol brace. And I know that a lot of people are like, oh, I can still shoot this just fine without it. And you can, but it doesn't feel as natural, honestly, as this does. Those pistol braces really helped. So we will see what happens. And that was just something I wanted people to be able to think about because that's something that if you don't comply, Technically, you have an illegal firearm. Now, whatever, you know, <laughs> the ATF can't make laws. I totally get that. And uh, these shouldn't be illegal firearms. But if you ever have to use your illegal firearm for its intended purpose, it might look really bad. And so it's just something to think about. Hopefully, hopefully we still will get some kind of good decision in this. We'll see what happens. Um, we still got some time left. Let me know if you're willing. I would love to get some kind of idea of how many people actually are starting to think about possibly doing this amnesty registration at this point. Again, I don't agree with that whatsoever that they're forcing people to do that. But I also do understand if you're starting to feel like you're getting stuck between a rock and a hard place with this. So if you feel comfortable letting me know, let me know. Let me know if you've decided to take your brace off or again, like most people probably are, that you won't comply, which I totally get too. But just think about what that actually means. Anyway, trying to keep you guys updated on this pistol brace rule. It's been a fiasco. I thought something would have worked out in our favor by now and it hasn't yet. I'm still holding out hope that the courts will take care of us in the end because to me, we're in the right. But obviously, I have a bias, um, as I'm sure most of you watching these videos do as well. So, if you enjoyed this content, please leave me a thumbs up, you know, like, share, definitely subscribe to Sati Tactical, hit that notification bell, comment, all that stuff really helps. From Sati Tactical, Stay strapped or get clapped.